In today's video, I'll be explaining how to start off a prison. This will include the starting tab, so even before you're in the building screen. And let's get her going. First, whenever you open the game, you'll get this menu. Click create new prison and you'll be dropped into this menu. On the left is mostly character based. You can pick the gender. You can, if you have the DLC second chance installed, you can choose a uniform color. If you don't, that's probably not even gonna be there. You can choose your warden. There is a few base game wardens and a few DLC wardens. There's also a few DLC dogs. Every warden also has their own traits. They describe themselves pretty good. For example, Rita has the likelihood of prisoners being stoic or fearless. That's a trait they can have. And prisoners are suppressed twice as quickly. It just means they are suppressed quicker. It's not one I like to go with because if they're suppressed, they're instantly also less happy. So that's not good. The lobbyists just have the likelihood of receiving prisoners who, are, who have bad traits pretty much. Periwinkle makes it so that guard dogs have a 50% chance of fully uncovering tunnels they detect. That's pretty useful. The pacifier reduces the temperature and makes inmates less likely to cause trouble. I really like this guy, it's just a bit more quiet in the prison. Aknova gets us a small cut of the resale value of each piece of contraband found. So pretty much she'll get money from stuff that's found that prisoners are not allow allowed to have. And prisoners who did have contraband found on them will be fined from their own savings. So the, their own savings pretty much just means the money they made from working in your prison. Hartman, all guards drop staff keys less often. That's just generally useful because if they drop them, prisoners are going to pick them up. And the guard stamina replenishes on intake. Pretty much just means if you intake prisoners, your guard stamina is going to reset. For Slugworth, the psychiatrist treatments are 20% more positive. More positive just means better. The chance of receiving psy psychopathic criminally insane inmates is higher though. This is definitely one of a DLC called Psych Ward. And for Dr. Hudson, emergency services work 20% faster and arrive earlier. Just useful, because if they arrive earlier, you can fix the problem quicker. Costs for repairs are reduced by 10%. Also, not bad. And the rest of these are all DLC wardens. If you want me to cover those, let me know. And for the dogs, I'm pretty sure there's not really a uh, any buffs on these. They just look cute as hell. Then on the right you have your main settings, world size, funds, how much money you start off with, the plot type, this just means what's gonna be there, desert means it's probably gonna be very empty, and the jungle means there's probably gonna be a lot of trees. If you run dynamic reputations, your prisoners have chance to gain and lose reputation traits during their time in prison. If you have this turned off, it's not gonna happen. The higher the grade, the more likely they'll lose or gain traits. Next up is Fog of War. If you have this turned on and your prison is open, aka you took in your first prisoners, you'll need cameras or staff at locations to be able to see what's happening. Otherwise it will be a gray area, as you can see right now, that is not supervised by anyone. Failure conditions mean if you let things go too bad, you get fired and it's game over. Aka if you let riots happen, too many deaths, escapes, bankruptcy, you'll just be fired and it's gonna be game over. Generate forest pretty much just mean give me trees. Trees can be good for multiple things cause it'll just give you free wood you can sell or use later. Same for lakes, do take the warning seriously. It may be a bit janky at times. Then we have generate buildings, so just generate parts of buildings. You can connect your prison to for free. So it's part of walls or indoors that you can use, but I tend to keep this turned off because I don't like that at all. Then there's warden mode. This will put your camera on top of the warden and you have to play from that perspective. If you tick this on, the permadeath option will come as an option. If you click this and you die as the warden, it's game over. You'll have to end that prison. Then there's events. This will pretty much just mean that stuff will randomly happen to keep you a bit more on your toes and to keep you actually paying attention to what's happening in your prison. For example, if you have a workshop, a prisoner could cut himself on equipment and you'd need medical staff there to help him or he'll die. That's just one example. Then there's temperature. This will just mean that you need to heat your prison. This can be quite a challenge because you need special equipment for that, like boilers. If you want me to do a video on this, definitely click like and let me know in the comments. Then there's staff needs. Uh, this just means your staff room is a bit more necessary. If you don't have this on, I feel like the staff room is just there to rest and that's it. They don't have any other complaints, but if they also need food and just recreational needs as well, then 
that'll be a bit more of a challenge. So if you want that challenge, definitely take this on. Then there's escape plans. Your prisoners will try to escape together. Uh, they'll make a plan trying to climb over under your wall and get out. Pretty much. So also be aware of that if you take this on. Unlimited funds kind of speaks for itself. Just sandbox, have fun, good times. Bureaucracy research also kind of a cheatsy mode. Just gives you a full bureaucracy for nothing. And this is just practically do what you want. You can do what you can spawn whatever, you can do whatever. Just a fun mode. There's also a mutators tab. Bunch of extra stuff in here. Definitely take a look yourself. They all kind of explain themselves uh, in the little box that pops up on the right. Um, this can make your prisoner more fun. Harder, easier, and just an overall uh, bigger challenge or a bit more fun. Like big head mode. Gives prisoners big heads. Just fun. Once you know what settings you're going to play with and you've ticked all of them off, you're going to have to press play. Otherwise, you're obviously never going to start. From then on, you have to start making your prison. And I like to do that by planning. So if you want to learn how to plan, definitely click here. See you next time.